cisplatin is another compound which can make uh, uh, cross links in the DNA. So how it was discovered that cisplatin can also damage DNA? So while examining the effects of electric currents on E. coli, a new compound namely cisdiamine dichloroplatinum better known as cisplatin was found to block cell division in E. coli. Uh, then uh, uh, the efforts were made to see if cisplatin would also inhibit cell division in other kinds of cells as it has inhibited in E. coli. It was revealed that cisplatin blocks the division of tumor cells. So here is the structure of uh, uh, cisplatin. Here you can see uh, two uh, chloride ligands are present and two ammonia uh, are present which are attached to one uh, platinum. So after uh, cisplatin enters the cell by a passive transport or active transport, it can get entry into the cell by any way, passively or actively. It under undergoes hydrolysis to produce a highly reactive and charged complex. So this cisplatin after hydrolysis or after uh, activation has been converted into highly reactive complex and this complex being highly reactive it coordinates to the N7 atom of either guanine or adenine base in the DNA molecule. Here you can see this is uh, a nitrogenous base and to the N7 this cisplatin is attached. So in this way it forms a monoadduct in the DNA. The remaining chloride ligand is displaced by hydrolysis allowing the platinum to coordinate to a second purine base on the same or opposite strand of the double stranded DNA. So as you know there are two chloride ligands. After activation one ligand was removed and in that place uh, uh, it uh, this uh, cisplatin was attached with uh, nitrogenous base so it form uh, it formed monoadduct but after the removal of second ligand now it can make another linkage or another other cross link with the another uh, nitrogenous base here uh, you can see uh, this is uh, uh, cisplatin. It is uh, uh, activated and one ligand, one chloride ligand has been uh, removed. And uh, after uh, this activate, activation, it binds with uh, DNA here and here. And uh, after the activation of uh, uh, second ligand or after the removal of uh, second lig ligand, it can, the platinum, uh, this platinum can make linkage with another guanine of the same strand. So in this way, this uh, cisplatin makes the intra-strand cross-link. So uh, uh, in this way, uh, this cross-link is formed between the one strand of DNA. But it can also uh, form uh, uh, this uh, intercross link with another uh, strand. So here you can see this is interstrand uh, uh, example of interstrand cross link. So this is uh, uh, these are two strands of uh, DNA. Uh, this is uh, ribose and this is guanine attached to uh, deoxyribose. And uh, similarly, this is deoxyribose and guanine is attached to this deoxyribose. So uh, this cisplatin it forms a cross link between these two guanines. So in this way uh, it can link two strands one and the other. So this is uh, the formation of interstrand cross link. As you can see uh, here this is uh, one linkage and this is another. So these two linkages are on the same strand. So this is intra-strand cross-link but 
in case uh, here you can see one linkage is on uh, this strand and the other linkage is on this strand so here it has formed a interstrand cross link so in this way it can form interstrand as well as intrastrand cross link so in this way this cis platin can make interstrand cross link as well as intrastrand cross links so cis platin's cytotoxic effects appear to be due to interstrand cross linking which blocks the replication and transcription machinery the intrastrand uh, uh, cross link is not that uh, uh, detrimental cisplatin uh, is a very effective chemotherapeutic agent for treating cancers of the bladder ovaries and testicles but unfortunately it has a number of side effects so uh, it cannot be used uh, with uh, uh, liberty to treat cancer patients